Hi everybody, it's Luton here, and um, I'm going to be having a look at the Army of Two Devils Cartel trial today, the demo. So uh, let's see what we have to do right here. Okay, so we're setting up to begin with. Can't see the logo, so that's all good. Connecting to EA servers, are we? For the demo, are we? Right, fair enough. Right, missions, armory, and options. Now, um, I don't know how many of you played the original Army of Two. I did, and um, I actually really enjoyed it. I liked the gameplay, I liked some of the missions. It was a little bit linear, but there's nothing necessarily wrong always with linear games because it keeps you focused on what it is that you're doing, and when the kind of story gameplay is important, you don't need to be wandering off all the time. Um, I actually liked the, some of the things that I did, as I say, and I can imagine that with this game going f you know, onto the next stage, it could be really interesting, especially the cooperative element could be really, really cool and fun. Um, um, so we'll see what's going on with it. Um, I should also say that next week um, I'm going down to EA uh, in, over here in the UK to actually play some uh, some stuff that's not on the demo, some of the exclusive, a bit of multiplayer, probably a bit of a story as well, possibly a couple of other games as well where we're down there. So I'm going to be having a chance to have a look at Army of Two, get an even better idea of it than you would get just from this demo. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to have some footage gameplay that I'll record while I'm down there, and I'm going to come back and give that stuff to you as well, talk about the game, do I think it's worth getting, in the same way that I did with Chrome. Crisis 3. And by the way, I have got some more Crisis stuff coming out um, that I haven't really put out yet. It's just the fact that obviously we got stuck in Endgame and, you know, it wasn't an appropriate place to get that out there. So I'm going to have some Crisis stuff coming up. I want to get into that a little bit more as well. Just a few videos around the mix. But, you know, anyway, let's get stuck into this. As always, I like to look through things when I'm starting a demo. So options, let's see the controls, in normal we want it on, vibration. Yes. Sensitivity, let's push that up a bit because I like things sensitive. Activate overkill, grenades, fire, aim, zoom, two vision, whatever that is. Look, melee, move, orders. Crouch, reload, cover, cover, it's X, switch weapons. It's all pretty standard. Don't need to change anything else. Missions, we can only do a solo mission by the look of it. Weapon loadout. Oh, wait, can we do any of this? Oh, yeah, we can. Or can we? What's happening? Ah. Customize your mask. <laughs> mask ID. Send your mariette. Cus, cus, custom, customize. Bone daddy. Look at him there. He's daddy in his bones. Oh, he's like scary as <laughs> Tiger blood. Tiger. Well, well, that was, you know, the most exciting customization experience I've ever had. Weapon loadouts. Uh, okay, primary. Can we turn this or anything? No. I was, I was thinking you might be able to rotate these, but apparently not. This seems quite a straightforward setup. I guess you can... Oh, I see. Okay, so we can choose different things right here. So we've got the M4 or the MKR. MKR. We've got the AK-47, FX-05, BR-19, that's nice. MTAV-19, which is kind of like you know, things. Uh, M1, always, and the FH-80, also a nice weapon there. Let's go back. LMGs, we've got a saw, RPD, of course. Where have you seen that one? MG23 uh, and an MG40, so a good setup there as well. Shotguns, ASG Combat, S12 and a DAO. SMGs, got an MP45 uh, there. MK3, an SD3, that's a good one. UCAP 9000 and an MK, well, it's MK9, but that's basically, as you can see, that looks like the vector, all right? Which is also, if you actually look up what that weapon is in real life, it's pretty impressive. Sniper, SWAT LR300, a long shot R50, SVD, and an AMR50. Okay, so we've got quite a nice range of weapons here. Secondary weapons, okay, we've got, can we choose any weapon secondary? That's interesting, so you can, looks like it anyway, you can choose any weapon as a setup. And your sidearm, actually, I mean, hang on a sec, can I, what can I actually select that's available to me right now? I can select a shotgun. Can't select any of this other stuff right now. Okay, so we're just going to go with that shotgun for now. Uh, primary weapon, I'm going to go actually with the uh, MKR, or the MCAR rather than. Oh, we can change as well. Look, we can change its stock. We can change it. So there's a lot of stuff that you can customize. 
which reminds you a lot of sort of things like um, the recent Medal of Honor magazine. So you can exchange it to all different types, armor piercing, drum, double drum. This is really quite cool. The sight optics again, hollow sight, a cog. The undermount, we can change it to foregrip, laser sight, blind fire, and a grenade launcher, so a load of different stuff there. Side mountings, you can have a rail magazine, a laser sight, or a ballistic shield even on your gun. Look at that. Reminds you of uh, James Bond. Uh, standard assault or precision for your barrel, so it obviously has different things. Muzzle, muzzle break, and a silencer. And weapon skins, everyone loves those. Are weapon skins, desert paint, root, autumn paint, forest, pine, olive, urban. Charcoal, blah 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 A lot of different weapon skins. Now interesting to see what kind of stuff we can customize on each specific weapon. Again, we can't actually look at those. Let's look at the shotgun. That's not gonna let us. Hang on a sec. Go to secondary shotgun. Right again, what can we customize here? So again, all these different things. What under mountains can we have? A camera, blind fire camera. Sights, similar, magazines. We can have Dragon's Breath, okay, and extended. Barrels, a precision barrel, weapon skins, again, all your stuff. So quite a lot of interesting things. The stock, again, assault, precision, and rapid reload. The rapid reload, that's quite interesting. How many weapon skins are there actually on this thing? Quite a few. We get into the more interesting ones, look clearly further on. Now look, I have actually got 60 grand of my, my money to begin with. So let's just go back quickly to the um, primary weapon. We'll actually upgrade some of this stuff. So stock, you can see that's going to improve its mobility. That improves the precision accuracy. So we're going to, let's add that one on. Magazine. We can have the standard, extended, double, which increases your reload speed. Armor piercing increases the damage. Drum, magazine size, and reload speed. Or does it remove? It takes down the reload speed. Yeah, it removes your reload speed. Uh, that's kind of nice. I mean, I wonder. You can't equip multiple at the same time. So um, let's go for armor piercing. Let's do some more damage. Oh look, what happens if we test fire? So anything that you have, you can bring it in right here. It's kind of interesting that you can do that. Let's upgrade armor piercing. Side mounting. Now we can get a laser sight on that. Improves the accuracy. Rail magazine. Improves our reload speed. I don't think we want any of that ready. That increases our range, but reduces the mobility. That increases our mobility, reduces the range. I think I'm going to stick with a standard barrel for now. Under mountings, we can have a foregrip. You can see that improves the accuracy a lot. A laser sight. A blind fire camera. Uh, we see now we can rotate all of this completely. And of course, grenade launcher. I'm going to go with a foregrip because I want to improve that sort of control. So now if we test fire, let's see if that controls any different. It feels vaguely better. I'm just saying the graphics are not totally blowing me away, but they seem tidy. Okay, let's go back. We obviously want a good sight on there, so let's go for a uh, let's go for a hollow sight. Don't want to go too far ahead with that. Let's just see how that looks. It's curious why you would have a really good sight if we can't go first person, but maybe you can go first person in game, I don't know. But I did think that this was generally how it looked, so maybe the actual sight itself is more from a just a mechanical point of view. That you know, having that sight on there increases your accuracy, but it doesn't it doesn't actually change how you look at it as such. Anyway. Right, okay, let's go back. I don't want to add too much stuff onto these things right now. Um, go to our secondary gun right here, shotgun. Let's upgrade that a little bit. So again, let's, I like the idea of this um, 
the rapid reload stock. Let's add that in there. Okay. Magazine. We can have standard or we can have the dragon's breath, but we can't unlock that yet. So we can only have extended. We may as well go with extended. Sight again, that's going to do things. Under mountings, barrel. Precision. It reduces our accuracy but increases the range, so let's not do that right now. The sight, hollow sight on there. That does increase the accuracy. Let's just whack that on there. Under mounting. This blind what does this blind fire camera do? I don't know. Laser sight. It's both accuracy things. Let's just go with the laser sight. Okay. Let's just test fire this bad boy. Right, interesting. Got this. I think we've got it all under control. Last thing to do, sidearms. M92, a 971. An M1911, a Falcon 50, a P226, and a Mag 44. We can only have one at the moment, the M92. What can we... We can only add different colour schemes to it. We can't do anything else. So I'm fine with the uh, default for now. Right, let's get back out. Customise operative. Now this is the thing we've already seen. Right, let's start the game. Now, I did consider playing this through first so that I could kind of come back and I'd be like, yeah, this is you go left here and you go right here and you go up. No, I'm playing this blind, blind as. I thought it would be more interesting for everyone involved if we did it blind. If you never played this game ever, the premise is that there's two of you, you're kind of like special operatives, uh, mercenaries, really. Ching! I'm here too. The devil's cartel. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Alpha, what's going on? Bravo, what's up? It's a good name, good name combo. Yeah, fist bump. Wow. What the ever going to be ship out? Yeah, you guys can tell this is my kind of game. Explosive Do you think they're targeting a certain demographic here? Yeah, psh, it blows up. Yeah, I got tattoos on my face. That means I'm bad. Uh, machete death. Yeah, yeah, let's show them how it's done. I'm all over this game, I tell you. I'd break into that crack warehouse. I'd be like, hello, gentlemen. What's going on this afternoon? Yeah, I'd fit right in here, you see. I wouldn't need a mask, it just look looked like totally normal. Hooja! Oh no, it must be our opponents. This is the this is the competition. Look at their co-op skills with a capital Z. There they are. Stretch the team to base. We got it. Suit up, gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah, German. Let's go, German. Oh, you can go kind of first person view. You know one thing that annoys the hell out of me in first person games, and I don't know whether I can or can't do this right now. What's this? That's weird, I don't know what that is. Um, I always like it in first person if you can go left to right shoulder, and I thought that you could do that, but... Right, that changes out my gun. How do I go to uh, secondary gun? That's the only thing. Crouch down. Can we go prone? No, we can only crouch. Uh, that's our grenade. An interesting explosion. Right. Um, let's get on with it, I suppose. I'll figure out the rest as we go. It's all good. Yeah, I really do like the ability, though, to um, go from... Yeah, I really want to be able to, you know, go from left to right shoulder, but maybe... Maybe it will tell me as I go. 
Let's get behind cover. I thought I could like change between my. Right, let's get out of cover. How do we go over this? What? How do I jump over? I'm clearly doing something wrong here. Oh, okay, apparently you have to press X right next to the thing. Okay, fine. Step jump. Up you go. Well, this was something from the original game. Yeah, anyway, sorry for the confusion there on that wall. Basically, you have to um, hold X near to the little thing that allows you. You can't just jump, you have to jump at a specific place. Represent! Yeah, this is tactical style. Holy crap! You can imagine how in like a uh, two-person cop this could be quite entertaining. Got you boy. You're going down. How are we supposed to move through this area right here? Let's try and make my way up. Come on, boys, show your face. Got you, boy. No, you don't. You don't go nowhere, sunshine. Oh, shit. I don't want to change out to my other guns, really. I'm quite happy with this right here. I'm trying to flank him a bit. I can see him back there. I see him back there. Grenade! <laughs> he went down hard as son. I don't, what's keeping us? Maybe the 10 to 15 guys we just had to drop down? That's what's keeping us. Right, let's get in the mix. Yeah, one thing that's kind of bugging me is the whole left to right shoulder thing. I really do like that feature uh, for third person games. I'm generally not a massive fan of third person games and that's one thing that makes it kind of bearable for me. What's this? Partner breach? Yeah, whatever. Get in the door. Look at these mad arts. They've obviously got a little bit of art talent, these guys. You know, they've been... What are we doing? Look, see, I can't... Am I supposed to knife this guy? Oh, they spotted us. You love it. Well, this isn't going to work. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, what's up? Fist bump. Boom. Looks 
Well, it's bullshit, isn't it? We what? We could just... We could totally crawl through here, look. We could just... We could just go through here. Ah, uh, whatever. Right here. Come on. Yeah, right here. Or, maybe, with our, like, crazy assault... Well, that was an epic fail, wasn't it? Why didn't we just do that to begin with? Oh, crap. That was a totally stupid plan. Can't see where these guys are. Ow! Damn it! I like the fact that you can uh, get bullet penetration going on, that's good, because you know how I hate it in games where there's stuff you should be able to penetrate. Oh crap in hell. <laughs> this game. Yeah, why don't we just try and do that in the first place, you know? But whatever, I'm cool with it. It's all good. I'm not I'm not griping. I see, so we don't do it as a team, it's just telling him to partner breach. Ah, what are you guys thinking about this so far at this stage? I'm not sure myself. It's not, it, it could be fairly enjoyable. Oh crap. Cover! Good job, Chopper. <laughs> Bad luck. Yeah. Fucking A and all that. Can you not slide? Ah! Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, crap. I need some better cover. Come on, come on. Get off the cover. Yeah, I got you. I like how my... Uh, I like how my weapon, weapon sound was totally delayed there. That was smooth. Jump, jump, but jump. Serio. Fist bump. Boom. Holy shit. Yeah, holy shit. Ow, ow. I'm not paying attention. Oh, crap. I don't know what happened there. I just pressed S2, L2 because it was flashing on the screen. I just pressed L2. Right, as I was trying to say, I just pressed L2 because it was flashing on the screen, and all this orange stuff happened. And I was like, oh my god, there's orange on the screen, and I'm shooting at people. And then and then he went down. So that was really cool. Piss off, we're on our way. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, we're supposed to be going. He's shouting at us. Come on. Wah. Wah. That's, uh, what am I supposed to... Yeah. Oh, breach. 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 Yes, breach. Breach. Ah. I like that. Oh, represent. There we go. Look at that. Instant death. Roger, roger. Pick up, pick up. Minigun. I bags minigun. Yeah, I'll do that. Hmm, yeah. What should I do? Should I mount the minigun or... Seriously. Yeah, boost me, please. Let me have the epically overpowered weapon. Thank you very much. <laughs> minigun. Minigun. 
Chun 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 bum 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 bum. Ah, ah, get off me! Ah, minigun, minigun, minigun. Ah. See, this is how powerful the minigun on the Venom should be. Not like fire a thousand rounds in order to take someone down. You should be able to just vaguely fire in their direction. And that's all that's required. Uh, I kind of killed them. Minigun! Take out the RPG? What RPG? Oh god! Uh, minigun! Minigun! Crap, it came from over there. Got him, I got him down. Explosive barrels. Explosive barrels. Oh, stop moving helicopter, I can't hit him. My helicopter has stopped circling for one sec, I could actually fire some hits. Right, we're doing good. Take out the antennae, which is over there, but I can't because it's flanked around now. Oh, oh, this one, right, right, fine, sorry. Yes, ah, down you go. Explosion! Explosion! Ah. Minigun! Minigun! How can you still be alive, son? What's that? Enemy heli! Oh! Brake flag! Dodge it! Beep, 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 beep! We're going down! We're going to truck! Ah, uh, we're down. I'm in last stand. No! Oh, oh no! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Screw the pilot. Hit. Oh, there's an enemy heli right there. Boom! Yeah, take it back, mother. Ah! Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the helicopter. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> I'm gonna fist bump, fist bump. <laughs> Available 28th the three of da. Pre-order the Overkill edition for even more mass destruction. Epic. Fist bump. <laughs> Love it. Play split screen co-op with a friend on the same system. Well, there we go. That was the Devil's Cartel. What do you think? Are you, is it fist bumping enough for you? Is it tattooed on the face enough for you? Is it unnecessary swearing enough for you? If it is, of all yes to those questions, then buy this game. I'm probably going to be getting it because I think it'll be fun in the sun. Um, I'm going to be off to EA next week to test out this game, guys. I'll let you know more of my thoughts about it then. It will have been fun because I get to play it in a genuine co-op environment, which is going to be really great. And, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts today, whether you enjoyed my completely pointlessly stupid conversation and uh, commentary. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for some perhaps more Army of Two in about a week or so. See you then.